Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. We're out on the trail. Sorry, I got my earbuds in. I just got done listening to Janine Roth on <clears throat> uh, my IIN uh, lectures. And if you've never read a Janine Roth book, you certainly must. I forgot what a dynamic speaker she is. She just, she's your best girlfriend. And she teaches you how to be kind to yourself. And it's been, well, it's been a couple of years since I've read anything. Janine, um, yeah, I still get her newsletters and whatnot, but do yourself a favor. And if you haven't, check her out. Um, it's been a minute since I've been on here. As you know, we moved. Um, we also had a death in the family. You know, everything happens at once, of course. So, yeah. So, that and then this whole um, Black Lives Matter movement just kind of has me thinking about things other than myself. And other than business as usual. Um, this is a good time when it's nice to have systems in place. Like, my therapy is in place. I get up in the morning and I walk the dogs. That helps me. And it's not something I have to think about. I just get up and I do it. So, there's some beauty in that. Um, I know Jennifer's been sharing resources. Everybody's been sharing resources. But make sure you get into something. Get into a webinar. Um, I'm doing Chrissy King's um, Wellness Professionals and Racism. I don't know if that's the actual title. But um, I'm looking forward to that. And I realize I lent out my Me and White Supremacy book. So I've got another one of those on order. So, it's about more than just this week, and if you don't understand something, if something aggravates you, dig deeper. When I started this work, it was under duress. Whole30 made us start that. You know, I thought it was enough to be a good person, and I was all about that colorblindness and everything. And I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out why that was wrong until I started doing the resources. And, you know, it's like learning a new alphabet or a new language. Um, it's just different. And it's hard and it's scary and... You know, but if you're going to go to a foreign land, you want to at least be able to talk about where's the bathroom and things of that nature. So I, I'm being kind of silly now, of course. But do some of the work. Um, you'll be glad you did. You know, and even if you start it out of a sense of obligation or even if you start it because, you know, everybody's doing it, that's okay. Just start doing it. It's all right. We're going to make mistake after mistake, but we need to change because this is genocide. And I don't say those words lightly. So, um, yeah, that's heavy, I know. But I just wanted to come in and say hi. Um, living in the RV is going well. It's different, let me tell you. But I think it's going to be really great. I cleaned the entire RV Sunday top to bottom, sweep, Swiffer, mop, toilet, shower, spray down the cabinets, everything. 45 minutes. And it really could have been a half hour. I was putzing around doing extra things. So that's kind of fun. Um, we have a July Whole30 coming up. I know I said I wasn't going to coach this summer. 
But after talking to Jennifer, and we were talking about Project Healthy Body going through the summer, and, you know, we were just talking about not taking our foot off the gas, it really spoke to me. Um, and I really want to see people go into the fall strong. Because if this damn COVID rears its head more, I don't want to say again, but more, you want to be ready. And um, Christy and I had decided we wanted to pair up, so we decided to do it for July. And Tina and Suzanne, who are both newer coaches, are also going to join us. So it's going to be four coaches for the July Whole 30. And it's going to be just shy of 60 days. I think we got 54 or 55 days. So if you know somebody who might want to do a Whole 30, please let us know. Um, we'd be happy to have them if you're not doing a Whole 30. Um, so yeah, there's a lot going on. A whole lot going on. But it's all making us better and making us more resilient. So I hope you have a lovely day. Hopefully I will get to upload this before noon because <laughs> I'm going to be on the road today. And I have to go to the dentist. Ugh. So pray for me. I hope you all are doing well. And please, I am happy to answer any questions you have about diversity, inclusion. Excuse me, boo. She just ran right into me. Anything you want to talk about, you know? Um, you know, sometimes I just joined this Facebook group um, called White Women Against, uh, Against Racism. And I've invited quite a few friends. Um, but if that's something you're interested in, let me know and I'll invite you. It is on Facebook. So I don't know how much I'll be in there. But, you know, lend your support. And it's a place for white women to go and ask questions that they don't want to ask outside of a safe space that, you know, they may not understand what they're saying and the impact that they have, but they can ask it in this group and people will help explain. So it's a great resource. <sighs> I've been walking pretty fast here, so I'm huffing and puffing. So I hope you guys have a great, 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 great day. Talk to me. I'm here.